Hello, my name is Jesse Ainebiona. Today being Father's Day, I thought I would share with you something interesting I'm learning about my journey of fatherhood. I've been privileged to be a father to these two beautiful... <laughs> and I just thought they should say hello before we start. Ruby, would you like to say hello? Hi. Okay, let me release them. And then we get into our message for today. Say bye. Bye. Okay. Now you are here. One of the things I'm learning on this journey of being a father is the element of being present for my children. It was Barbara Johnson who stated that to be present in the memories of our children tomorrow, we need to be in their lives today. I'll say that again. To be in the memories of our children tomorrow, we need to be in their lives today. I believe this is a pertinent subject for us to think about, especially as we celebrate fathers. Because let's face it, as fathers, we get busy. We get so busy working to make ends meet so that we can provide for our families provide the basic necessities, provide school fees, provide food. More importantly, sometimes we're even charged with the responsibility of taking care of our aging parents or even our siblings. All these things combined together take a toll on us, especially on our role as fathers in the home. Many of us become absent because of the responsibilities that we have, absent from the lives of the children. At times, even when we are at home, we may be present in the home and yet absent from their lives. This is what I mean. You might be at home, but maybe you're working on the computer, or you're on your phone, or you're reading a book, or you are reading a newspaper, or watching your favorite TV show or a soccer game, or anything that you might be consumed doing. You realize that each time you're doing any of those activities I have mentioned, yes, you are present in the home, but you are absent from your child's life. As I began to think about all this, I began to reflect that when I became a father, I was charged with a new assignment to my job description as a parent. So I'm not only a provider to my children, I am also their parent, and they need to feel me as their parent. More importantly, if I say that my children are a priority to me, what is the evidence of that in my schedule? Yes, I may be working so hard to provide for them. I think it was Jesse Jackson who said, what our children need are not only our presents, like gifts, but also our presence. They need to feel us in, in their lives. I was struggling in this area until I discovered something very significant. And that is the subject, that is the element of scheduling. Scheduling. Yes, I mean making time. Scheduling because we do this all the time. We schedule time to be with our business partners. We schedule time to be with our friends. We schedule time to run our businesses. We schedule time for our meetings. If you're part of an association, you make time for it. I noticed I never used to make time for my children. And no wonder I was developing a bit of a disconnection from them. What I did, I decided that every day, I set aside maybe 20 or 30 minutes. In this time, I will not do anything. I will not touch my phone. I will not be on the computer. I will not read a book. I want to give them my whole undivided attention. And some of the things I'm learning by scheduling, these are some of the things we do. We play with their toys. So this is Ruby's baby. She calls her baby Gary. This is her phone. I'm learning how to play with children's toys. Sometimes we can play with pickups. I didn't know that there was something like this until I began to deliberately spend time with Ruby and see some of the things she does. Or it might be building blocks. These are her blocks. So at times we build a castle together. It might be that we go out and play on the swing or ride a bicycle. Anything that we can do. Of course, I'm giving those examples because I have toddlers, as you have seen. In case you have older children, 
it might be that you take a walk it might be that you wash the car together it might be that you can consider cooking with them or cleaning the house together anything you can do to bring you into the lives of your children is a worthwhile investment the beauty about this time is that it helps us as fathers to build lasting memories it helps us to build deeper connections and it also helps us to build strong bonds it is during this time that you get to know exactly what are they thinking what's happening in their lives often times we are so busy out there working so hard we win accolades we are praised by the world and yet we don't know what's happening in our children's lives it it is also a very good opportunity for you to affirm them. Affirm your sons. Affirm your daughters. Tell them how proud you are of them. Now I'm learning to affirm Ruby. I'm telling her, Ruby, I love you. I love to spend time with you. You are precious to me. You are beautiful. You know, our daughters love to hear these things from us as fathers because you're the first man in their lives. And let me speak a bit more to fathers who have daughters. If you do not take time to affirm your daughters, someone else out there will affirm them because they crave for affirmation. So when they don't hear it from you, most likely they will go seeking it out there and they will find someone with selfish motives who is willing and ready to do it. But you don't want to face the repercussions of that. So as, as we do this, I'm learning to be present, I'm learning to be available so that they can feel my input in their lives. It is good to be a provider, but it is also good to be present so that they can feel your parental input. A very good example of what I'm sharing with you is my wife. My wife grew up in a home where her father was so busy, busy, traveling, many times he was out of the country. But one thing he deliberately did was to spend time with his children whenever he was around. So whenever he was around, he would give himself fully. Because of that, they did not realize that he had a very busy job. Why? Because he gave them the most and the best of himself. It's not about the length of time, it's about the depth of time. So as we think about this element of being present in our, in our children's lives, of scheduling time to be there, I would like to encourage your fathers we work so hard. We work so hard to take them to school, to the best schools, to the best universities, to the best colleges. You don't want to provide everything else and yet lose connection with your children. The other thing I'll tell you is that these children are not young forever. It's just a moment they will be in school. Before you know it, they are in high school, they are in college, they are at the university, and they have started their own lives. We don't have so much time with them as children. They are not young forever. So let's invest every input that we, let's make every input that we can to make a significant deposit in their lives. The other thing I will tell you is if you do not connect with them when they are still young, chances are high you will not connect with them when they are older. So let's take this opportunity while it lasts. I believe as fathers, we have the capability, we have the ability, and we have the responsibility to shape the next generation by being present in the lives of our children. Let's take time to be present, to prepare them for the future, to train them, and to equip them with skills that will make them successful tomorrow. I believe you and I can make a, bit, a difference in our children's lives by being more available. To the fathers, happy Father's Day, and remember, be present in your children's lives. God bless you.